Welcome back to the game of love. Have you ever wondered, looking at the night sky, the mysteries of creation? Let us take a walk from the first point of time and understand how this beautiful universe was created. Sitting around the fire, the disciple was observing the night sky. Looking up to the skies above, the stars stretching endlessly in the dark skies, glistening sharp and cold, vast distances apart. Master, how was the universe created? The master looked at his disciple. Before the universe was created, son, there was nothing, just silence, just deep silence. And 36 yogas or ages, the divine sat in absolute silence. There was no religion, no churches, no temples, no masjids, no religious text, no prophets, no saints, no rituals, no days, no nights, no earth, no sun, no moon, no heaven, no hell, no matter, no energy, just silence, deep silence, no form of any kind existed, son. Just silence, pure silence, darkness was hidden within darkness, deeper and deeper layers of darkness. All was a state of darkness, cloudiness. This, my son, is referred to as the state of Tundukara. Arvada, Narvada, Tundukara. Arvad meaning countless millions. Narvad meaning countless billions of years. Son, there was just one dense singularity. One divine Shakti just the one supreme consciousness in deep samadhi. The divine consciousness stayed silent for many aeons. Then under the self, the divine created an elaborate play known as Kiel. This, my son, was the self-will of the divine. The hidden Shakti, the power, in its own will decided to manifest itself. First came the light, then from the center of the light came the divine celestial sound of the word. The first word which resonated throughout the whole of the galaxies was the sound of Om, or Om. In the text, it says, O Angormoka Gyo Akara. O Ang, the one universal creator, created the creation through the words of the primal Lord. Pehina Pehina Tregon Besatari, Nergon Te Sargon Dreshtari. He created the diverse expanse of the three qualities. From formless, he appeared as form. Then, son, this created a sequence of events. Creation started to take form. The Nirgun had manifested itself into Sargun. Master, what is Nirgun? asked the disciple. Son, Nirgun is that aspect of the divine which is beyond the three aspects of Maya the illusion and cannot be seen with the physical eye and can only be experienced with the divine eye known as Dib Drishti, the inner eye. 
what is sargun master sargun is that aspect of the divine which is visible to the eye planets bodies nature etc master can you explain the process please yes son from the om or the om the five elements were created earth water fire air space these were known as the five tatvas or the five tats space became the shelter for the many galaxies and solar systems the material world came into being kal meaning time was created maya meaning the illusion was created they became the shadow of the divine much like the shadow of a human being which is not real but neither is a part the energy of the divine was separated into three my son there was the manifestation and then there was time and then there was the divine we were born from the divine we became the separated energy of the supreme energy as a consequence we lost our original divine face our emptiness maya the duality became the main player in the creation creating an illusion making us believe that what we see and experience is the whole truth my child this is known as a play of maya the kheel an illusion or a deception as maya became the illusion of the world the material ph- phenomenon of the three gunas were created rajogun tamogun satogun the rajvik tamsik and the satvik tamogun meaning a mind full of desires and attachments which leads to anticipations rajogun meaning a mind of ignorance which leads to dullness laziness passiveness not listening to anyone unwillingness this my child is the darkest of the three gunas the lowest of the three gunas and then the satvik the elevated nature of the mind leading to happiness and blissfulness in society in which we experience all our perceptions of pain yet my son all three states of the gunas are bound in maya my child when we were in our mother's womb we were pure we were protected by the divine as we were born very quickly the play of maya starts and we became engrossed by the lure of the false promises of the maya we forgot that we were the children of the divine and started to find pleasure in that which we are not and in this elaborate cosmic play the whole world became lost my child our challenge is to reunite with the divine essence the disciple was absorbing every single word of his master mesmerized my child understand one thing the lowest point of the mind is the bent man the gross mind this mind operates in the arena of the nine gates of the body it's a judgmental critical mind all actions born from this mind however well intentional will be born from kal yog here the illusions of kal yog has trapped our soul like a fish which is trapped in a fisherman's net the bent mind is the most difficult mind to control the next my child is the antman that is between the eyes a coarse mind in the arena of visions and sounds then the nijman this lies behind the forehead also known as the trikuti this is the most purest form of maya mind then my child there is what we call the 10th gate 
the Gagan. The great sages, the great gurus of the past have recognized, shared and explained that the path of spirituality is full of traffic of the ego. Circumnavigating this elaborate play of the mind will not be easy, my child. This is a jungle, the trappings of ego and the manifestation of ego in its different guises will be in abundance. Here, my child, only a true guru who has done the journey will truly guide you through. Only through the practice of Shabd Surt meditation. Under the guidance of a true master, using the authentic mantras, those mantras which will bridge between us and the divine will help us realize our true self. This, my child, is known as self-realization, our true essence, our true identity, a divine realization. And by understanding the play, we will begin to take fruitful steps towards the divine. The disciple looked at his master, looked at the sky and carried on observing the marvels of the divine.